Well, just under two months until the Crabbies Grand National. The weights announced today, they're displayed behind me. John Ivan Duke from bookmakers William Hill joins me with initial reaction to the weights and uh, how's the market looking? Well, as you might expect, everybody's wondering what AP McCoy is going to be riding. And at this stage, you suggest it's going to be shut the front door. And as such, the market has responded 10 to 1 favourite at this stage. I suppose you could say Carlingford Lock would be an obvious choice should shut the front door not make it to the race. He's 25 to 1 but shut the front door, 10 to 1 at this stage, favourite for the race, and that price will only contract as we get to April. And looking at McCoy, any specials that you're offering about him in his, what will be his final Grand National, chances of him winning it? Well, I'm pretty sure that most people would expect that AP McCoy's mount will be well backed. 6 to 4, joint favourite at this moment, 9 to 2 or less, the starting price of AP McCoy's mount in the Grand National. It's 6 to 4 uh, from 5 to 1, 11 to 2 or 6 to 1, 13 to 2 or bigger for McCoy's mount in the Grand National. That would be 9 to 4. So you can see that we expect AP McCoy's rides to be very, very well backed, particularly on the day. And with that in mind, there could be value to be had elsewhere, perhaps. Who are the other horses that it could be perhaps worth looking out for? Do you know, actually, it's funny you should say that. Another special that we've got uh, is in terms of what price, the, in terms of the a horse that could be 33 to 1 or bigger. Now, if you look back over the last three years, 25 to 1. 66 to 1, 33 to 1. So we've seen you some. Don't big... have to go too far back for 100 to 1 either. Well, exactly. It's been a real payday for bookies over the last few years. And we're hoping that trend continues, obviously, at the sake of the punter. But uh, if you did want to bet to say a horse could be 33 to 1 or bigger for the winner, that's 6 to 4. Now, if you think about it in terms of a bookmaker's book and in terms of how we're going to be pricing the race, as we see the odds of McCoy's mount shrink, we're going to see the prices of other horses pushed out. So I think 33 to 1 or bigger, 6 to 4 about the winner of the race being, being that sort of odds, I, I think it could well happen. Certainly bring in quite a few uh, serious contenders. Who are the others that we should be uh, paying attention to at this stage? I mean, the top of the weights, it's a little uncertain, the likes of uh, many clouds, Carlingford Lock possibly Gold Cup, possibly on to entry. We're not sure at this stage. Balthazar King placed in the race last year. Pino de Rey, the winner 12 months ago. What kind of prices are they? Well, if you look at the runner-up and the, the second from last year, Pino de Rey, 25 to 1 to repeat, would be the first horse since Red Rum in 73 and 74 to go back to back and win those, uh, the double grand national, as it were. Um, and, you know, the, I think Paul, Balthazar King, Given the way that the horse has been performing this year, currently the second favourite at 16 to 1, that's going to attract some punters. People who have perhaps backed both as our king last year, I certainly did. I can speak from my own pocket. I think that we, there might be people going in again. They're skipping what looks a penalty kick at Cheltenham, possibly in the, the cross country race, to, to come straight here a fresh horse. Well, exactly that. They're, they're prepping the horse perfectly for the Grand National. Union East is a fascinating horse, isn't it? The one of seven horses for Paul Nichols. 20 to one in the betting. Everything else is 25 to one bar. There's only those three horses that are 21 or less. Shut the front door. Balthazar King and Union East. He certainly does look as though he is Paul Nichols' number one for the race. And he's two from three at Aintree. So he does have a good record round the course. Well, they say you should never take a tip from a bookmaker, but putting you on the spot at this <laughs> stage, where would your money be going? Well, do you know, I think we have priced the race correctly. Shut the front door would be my pick. I think at 10 to 1, you know, you'd be looking at maybe some horses which are bigger odds, but he is perfectly made for the Grand National. He's won a national, the Irish Grand National. He looks as though he really stays. He truly enjoys a thorough test. And by the looks of things, he'll have the champion in the saddle. He's got every single box ticked, in my opinion, which is why he's favourite. And the advice, I think, would be to get on now because his price is only going to contract if Tony McCoy does indeed opt to ride shut the front door in the big race in April. Do stay up to date with all the latest uh, betting news right here on RacingPace.com.